All right, let's talk Xavier Collins, why don't we? The former first-round linebacker that maybe hasn't fully lived up to the hype for the Cardinals. No, not that one, the other one. Yes, Xavier Collins, who uh, I thought had a promising rookie year in a small sample size, but in 2022, when he really got significant playing time, uh, it wasn't a disaster by any means. Like, if you look at his, like, pro football focus page, for example, a 59.8 grade. Listen, when we talk about rookies that, or young players, I should say, that haven't fully lived up to the hype, uh, that's not the worst grade that we usually come up with. Uh, the run defense is really where he's kind of had some issues. The 45.2 grade has definitely been uh, underwhelming, to say the least. And again, uh... I get it. PFF isn't exactly everybody's cup of tea, but let's just talk about Collins as a player, why he was hyped up in college, and maybe why uh, he hasn't fully lived up to that hype in the NFL. So first, let's look at his pro football focus page, and it's actually really interesting because looking at this page, you kind of could have predicted what player he would end up being. Because like you look at the, you know, the pass rush and the coverage grade are both outstanding. I mean, his overall grade in 2020 was uh, 90.5, kind of a one-year wonder, and only 464 total snaps that one year. So that was a little bit concerning. You know, played great in eight games. That's kind of what got him drafted. But he was great in those eight games. But you look over to the right uh, side of the screen, the uh, 2020 comparables section. So what this means is this is where he ranked in specific categories and then that dot that's on that bar the further towards the right it is the better it is so his pass rush grade you know among the best in college football the run defense grade was not it was actually mediocre for and that's just for college football players so that's very much not good and that's very concerning now coverage grade was again great the you know average depth of run tackle was solid but that's not a stat that I've seen really too much uh, evidence to support matters too much at the next level. But then the missed tackle rate, another one where he was, you know, mediocre. He wasn't bad at making tackles, but he wasn't great at it either. He was kind of just, you know, he made the tackles you expect him to make, didn't make the tackles you didn't expect him to make kind of guy. But let's watch some film, and I do think, I, you know, I can kind of see why Zayvon Collins has had his, uh, you know, uh, pros and cons at the NFL level. First, let's start off with a play like this. So what's going to happen on this play is, you know, you see where he is on the screen. Uh, it looks like the guard is supposed to eventually block him. However, you see Collins kind of just shoot through before the guard can realize it and ends up getting a safety on that play. This is, you know, a definite highlight reel level play from Xavier Collins, and he was able to pull a pretty good amount of these types of plays off at the college level. I mean, if you remember, his 40 time was not great. Uh, it was definitely not what got him drafted. Uh, you know, it was a 4-6 uh, type guy. But again, you have to factor in the fact that he's 6'4", 260 pounds. So it's like, hey, he's not overly fast for a linebacker, but for his size, he is fast. And that's kind of the, you know, what people liked about him a lot. Like this plays another example of how that can work. It's going to be the pass rush situation where it's actually going to be a halfback who's going to try and uh, pick him up. And first off, right off the bat, the halfback does a terrible job. I mean, that just was not very well done. And now Collins has an opportunity to get to the quarterback. But listen, having an opportunity to get to the quarterback does not mean you're going to get to the quarterback. You have to now take advantage of this opportunity. But that is going to be exactly what Collins is able to do. Again, these splash play type things, which you might be sitting here and saying, you know, what I'm sure some of you are at least thinking yeah, but how well does this work at the NFL level? Like, how many of these plays do you really can you really pull off at the NFL level? And that's been true. I mean, the reality is he hasn't had these types of situations as consistently in the NFL. I would still say that he has shown flashes at the NFL level. Again, he's been a fine player so far. He hasn't been a disaster by any means. He hasn't been great either, but he hasn't, you know, he hasn't been what you hope you get from a first round pick. I think that's totally fair to say, but, uh, you know, I do think it's fair to say as well that part of what people liked about him to begin with has become not as important now that he's in the NFL and you just don't get the opportunity to do those things as frequently. Again, other stuff that was very good, like, again, uh, you know, I watched one of his highlight reels and a lot of the plays that were on there were, you know, pass rush stuff, not really getting blocked too frequently, which like... I think there's several ways you could look at that stuff. I think the one way you look at it is saying, well, again, kind of what I just said, doesn't always work out at the NFL level. You could argue the other way, though. You could sit here and say, okay, listen, 
yes, it doesn't always work out at the NFL level. But you know what? There still is something to being able to dominate at the college level. At the end of the day, if he has a great nose for finding, you know, gaps uh, and finding ways to get unblocked to the quarterback, well, isn't that a good thing? And shouldn't, like, if he's playing college football, shouldn't that be what he is doing? He shouldn't, like, not do that and instead directly run into somebody and try to beat them that way simply because it would make it look, you know, better for NFL scouts. Like, no, you should be trying to just do whatever you can to win. On this play, he shoots through a gap before the guard could pick him up, and then he gets over and tackles the quarterback. Like, sure, it was a good situation, but it was also a very good play, and that's why I think that you can, you know, argue both sides with Xavier Collins. So, very fascinating player, and I do think it's fair to mention as well, linebackers do tend to take some time. And so, for a guy who, you know, barely got any playing time in 2021, this is the first year we've really seen him do too much, uh, you know, it's going to be a bit of a learning process. I think that's reasonable to say. I don't think that we should expect him to come in and dominate right away. And kind of one of the nice things about the, you know, where the Cardinals are happen to be at, at right now is you're in a bit of a rebuild, right? I mean, yeah, you selected this guy at pick 16 and you haven't seen the dominance just yet from him that you were hoping. But at the same time, okay, well, you're still in a rebuild. So let's just see what we can get from him. Because again, you were kind of in a weird, they were kind of in a weird spot where it's like they were, you know, at least two years ago, they were really competitive and trying to be good just right, you know, good right then. Last year, it was already kind of a down year so they could try things, but he also didn't have the talent around him that maybe was necessary for him to fully develop quickly and maybe it'll take him some time it's hard to say for sure so I really do feel like for Collins if I'm the Cardinals I'm for sure giving him another year to see what he can do because again just in general uh, I probably just put him out there because like he hasn't he's been good enough to earn us you know at least a job this next year I think that's totally reasonable to say I give him the job and then see what he can do I think that if he can't you know, improve and get better, you, then, okay, fine, you have an okay player who just isn't going to live up to the potential, but maybe he could, you know, take a step forward and really become the guy that we thought he could be, because again, so much of what he did in college was using his IQ and using his ability to make reads to make plays happen. At the NFL level, it moves a lot faster. It might just take him some time to get there. We'll have to see how it works out. But yeah, those are kind of my thoughts with Xavier Collins, uh, the linebacker for the Cardinals, who was formerly picked 16th. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.